She told me the other day that her bicycle tire can be inflated as per standard usual procedure, but somehow after the pump is removed, the valve just keeps leaking air even without touching it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what happened to her valve and can happen to you. Will save you a lot of grief and frustration about these valves. So in this video, let's take a look at the valves that are used on bicycle wheels that hold air. There are typically these two types of valves. Their names are Presta on the left and in the right corner, Schrader. Now Presta valves come in different colors, not just the shiny, it could be this copper, whatever, brass color, or it could be just anodized black. They also come in different lengths. Say, you can kind of see where this is going. Shortest, taller, even taller, depending on the depth of the rim on the bicycle. And they also come in a oh, variant that's vulcanized or mounted onto a bicycle tube and these ones oops and these ones that aren't these are part of a tubeless wheel system it's a tubeless tire it's not a valveless system it's a tubeless system so let's quickly take a look at the part in a separate video i'm going to deal with schrader but in this video i'm focusing on presta the valves have a valve cap. The valve cap is important. It keeps the filth out of the valve. There are tiny bits inside the valve. Any grain of sand or any speck of dirt can break the seal inside the valve because inside the valve there is a valve core. It is removable with a valve core tool that for the Presta system looks like this. What takes the valve core out. So I'm gonna show you how that looks like. Cap off on the valve core, which conveniently on this one, I chose this one, is this silver colored bit. You can see a flat spot on it. So you have to slide this tool over it, find where the flat spot is, and then remove the valve core. I'm gripping it really tight with my left hand because in a tubeless system you need, you see this white residue, you need some sealant inside. The sealant is on the bottom of this gunk is on everywhere so consequently it ends up on the threaded surfaces of the valve core itself so this is how the valve core looks like and this crystallized sediment is the tire sealant so this is the valve core in my hand and this is just a tube this is the outer part of the valve core what else i've got yeah that's the valve stem yes let's talk about the core the core is seated against the outer part of the valve and you can see two rubber seals on it a wider black seal and a narrower smaller one further down here okay so these the condition of these two seals is really important and this is where one speck of dirt literally can deform the seal into a shape so it does not seal anymore therefore so the valve cores these ones the whole thing typically are not to be reused because the seal of the core will compression set conforming to the mating surface after installation this mating surface is on the inside of this valve okay so the metal surface on the inside of this tube is what this seal is compressed against tightly when it's threaded in with the core removal tool and i hope that makes sense that the condition of this 
rubber after a while changes it gets harder and brittle and uh, sometimes it permanently deforms after a while to the mating surface of this metal tube here so this is a common phenomenon for rubber it uh, it this elasticity is what makes this seal possible but also this elasticity is lost after a while so let's take a look at the, she had a problem with and it is right here yeah it's tiny so on the valve core there is a valve stem that runs through the whole thing and when the cap is undone this valve stem is kind of moving like this and you can see how this lower seal, this stem seal here, moves with it. And the core seal here, white on this one, whereas it was black on the previous one that I just took apart. So the core steel and the stem steel are dissimilar colors here, not a problem. So what went wrong with her valve here? So the stem cap here, you can see it kind of looks crooked. It looks crooked because the stem itself is bent and it's really really difficult to see but, uh, but it's possible that the stem cap is sitting crooked it's not really holding the entire stem in place correctly so because the due to just life what you do with the stem this threaded stem which is yeah again this part here okay the whole thing sometimes it gets bent and if you bend it then the stem cap is not gonna is not gonna see you not gonna keep the air in so this one is straight here no problems with this one this is the one i just took apart yes and on this one the stem is dead straight and the stem cap comes down vertically perfectly and centers the stem whereas it's not centering the stem on this one here okay it's bent so this is a tiny part pay attention to it you can bust it with the with just being heavy-handed or working in dark or whatever it's a tiny little part and yes it's been a long explanation to tell you this don't bend the stem on the valve of a presta so to deal with her bent valve core stem i took out the valve core from a completely innocent and absolutely unused tube and the cores are interchangeable regardless of the valve length yes so whatever is mounted on her bicycle i took out the entire valve core with its bent valve stem and took this one and put it into her tire and now i'm left with this 100 uh, percent good it just needs a valve core took i don't know 30 seconds to fix it yes i know the video is like 10 minutes long but it needs all that explanation for this 30 second fix so how do all of these parts work together here let me show you on this one here i'm gonna hold it with these tweezers so if you undo the little cap underneath the big cap then the little cap rides up on this core stem here and when it does this is what happens okay so the stem is movable there's no spring in it it just it just moves on its own so when the tire is inflated pressure from inside the tire pushes the moving part of this valve core this stem into this position where this gasket here seals or is forced against the bottom of this valve core here the valve core body there and this seal here keeps the air in okay look at it so any dirt along this lower edge of the core body here 
any speck of dirt there will interfere with making a seal here you can see this is a v-shaped shoulder on this seal so they go together like this and pressure from the tire forces this up you can press it in and then some air whooshes out and then air pressure inside the tire will push it back up so that's what you hear obviously to stop this valve stem from plunging down inadvertently on its own what you need to do is thread this stem cap down all the way along this stem this threaded part that runs all the way down that is the core stem so thread this stem cap down and that will keep this seal in place so you, when you hit the top of the stem the stem is not gonna plunge down in the core and it's not gonna let air out so uh, go out there in the shop and uh, give replacing uh, the core of any valve core a try get yourself a tool like this inflate some tires to whatever pressures uh, is printed on tires it's, yes this is from a car tire or whatever but just find the tire information on the sidewall of the tire inflate some tires and don't bend the valve stem